digging in my old files, digging in the crate, bringing out some new videos that has not been exposed to the rest of the world, stuff I was doing locally. All right, let's check it out. So, um, and before we get started, I know y'all see me wearing one glove on one hand and nothing on the other. And basically that's just to kind of show a compare and contrast of my fingers so you don't get caught up in wondering which one or what should be placed where you'll be able to see two different colors and how they're supposed to be put together. Because in this video, what we're going to talk about is hand placement on the firearm and proper grip. So, without further ado, got the weapon here. Making sure we have a clear and safe weapon. Magazine wells clear. Chamber is empty also. And we're good to go. So, when holding the weapon, when holding the firearm, the pistol, what you want to do, semi-automatic pistol, because holding the revolver is a lot different. Um, semi-automatic pistol, I don't have a revolver, so I'm not able to show you guys out there revolvers exactly how to hold that uh, J-frame firearm. But with the uh, automatic, the semi-automatic, not automatic, but semi-automatic uh, pistol, what you want to do is you want to make sure right up in there, the back strap. You want to make sure you get your strong hand, your dominant hand, as far up in that back strap, back strap as possible with the web of your hand. Put back up in there as far as possible and make sure you firmly grip the weapon, seating your trigger finger along the frame right underneath the slide. This is the slide, the action of the firearm. All right? And you want to firmly wrap your fingers across the side and you want to take your thumb and you want to have your thumb up. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use this space that you create right here. And we're going to use our support hand, which in my in my experience, I've uh, come to realize that the support hand is actually the most important um, aspect of the, of the grip. Because uh, it helps with the um, better fire control when you're shooting. So, you want to use this hand right here. And you want to use the, the bottom of the palm and seat it right in that empty space. Have the thumb... Pointing down range as far as possible and using these fingers, wrap it along the bottom just like such. And then you take your other thumb that, had, that you had north and rest it right on that other hand, right, right, right on top of the back of the other thumb, just like that. And what you'll notice is that both thumbs will be pointed the same direction as the muzzle. The muzzle is the business end of the barrel. Point in the same direction as the muzzle, all right. And what that, what what I've come to believe in and learn in my experience is that where the thumbs are pointed is where the bullet and where you where you're trying to shoot, because those are like your pointers, all right. I'm trying to shoot. I'm trying to shoot the target. My thumbs are pointed the same direction. What you don't want to do is you don't want to wrap. You don't want to wrap around the back. You'll get what's called a slide bite. It hurts really bad. It can go from it can go from slightly painful to needing stitches. So, once again, just like this, seat that other hand in there, rest your thumb down, and you want to use the fingers on this hand and the top of the palm to kind of press against each other while you wrap it around the, uh, the frame like such. Because that will also help stabilize the firearm when it's being shot okay it'll bring you right back on target and you'll be able to get access to the you'll be able to access the trigger inside the trigger guard relatively easy and be able to engage with the target all right so that's how you grip a firearm properly um same concept goes for smaller weapons too let me see Safe weapon. So my hands are so big. This thing is so small. All right, down the magazine well. Nothing. Chamber. Nothing. All right, so we have a clear and safe weapon. Same concept also. All right. Same thing. You're gonna have you're gonna have a lot more room on the bottom, of course, if you got bigger hands like me. But same concept, all right? That's how you uh, that's how you properly grip a firearm. So if you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave them on the bottom. 
or hit me in the inbox directly. Uh, it doesn't matter. Shoot me an email, burn signal, bat signal, a smoke signal, whatever. Make sure you have a good rest of your day. Be safe. Train often. Train properly. Train safely. Peace. What up? Bringing up some videos that I got in the crate. Now you're going to see that even though the appearance may have changed because I got a little older, the training and the information still remains the same. Train hard, train often, train properly, and train safely. Peace.